And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody who's watching on YouTube for some mono red goblins in historic. Uh, this is our last historic deck of the night for our 12 hour stream. We've had a whole lot of fun and played a lot of really cool stuff. Um, if you missed any of the videos, if you're watching on YouTube or, you know, for y'all, just hope y'all check them out later on. Um, yeah, had a lot of fun today. But one last one, we wanted to build around Goblin Matron and play some mono red goblins here. Goblin Matron is another, so basically what we did is we, you know, had different, uh, the historic anthology cards with all of these decks. Um, this is another best of one deck for us here. Uh, two in a red for a one one whenever it ETBs. You can search for a goblin card, reveal that card, and put it into your hand. It's kind of rough that it's a three mana. It's another really good three mana goblin because we already have War Boss, War Chief, and Chain Whirler that are, that are all so good. And so that's the kind of the problem with the goblins is all these three drops are awesome. Ringleader, Volley Veteran, and Trash Master are amazing at four four manas, uh, especially Ringleader. And so this is the kind of the problem is all of our, our goblins cost three and four. The ones and twos just are not very good. Um, so that that's the problem with our our uh, tribe here, but we're going to give it a try um, to help out. Like War Chief is going to be big here, making our goblin spells cost one less, especially if you can get multiple War Chiefs in play, because uh, then you know you can get you know Legion War Boss to be one mana. This this can be one mana, and so on. You can you can reduce these mana costs and make it a whole lot cheaper and make it a whole lot easier to play. Um, so Matron finding War Chief is going to be pretty important, but then also Matron finding Ringleader to be able to get us a bunch of cards uh, if we need, or go grab Volley Veteran if we need that removal. So since we're going to need extra mana, we're going to be using these Skirk Prospectors as ramp here. Hey, thanks, Rank 1. Thank you so much. Um, and honestly, you know what? I want to go in... Because we're going with all these Prospectors, actually, I want... I want more instigators. We're going to go for instigator to Ember Hauler. But yeah, we're going to be using this as ramp because we could just place Skirk Prospector on turn one. And then on turn two, we can just sack our Skirk Prospector and we got three mana. And then we can just immediately have these things on turn two. Um, you know, basically use it as like a one time Llanowar Elf. <laughs> Obviously, the Llanowar Elf would be a lot better. Um, but uh, yeah, that's just kind of where we're at. So we'll see how this works. I, I'm definitely worried about this curve, but oh well, what are you going to do? We're going to have a whole lot of threes and fours and just hope it works. So we're going to go play some historic with mono red goblins. We'll play seven games. We'll see how it goes. Oh, I would love to play more volley veterans. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, I, but I, the thing is, yeah, I would love vo more volley veterans, but I'd also love more, I'd, I'd love more goblin trash masters. But, I mean, you see how all of our cards cost three and four mana already. We can't really just play more threes and fours. But, yeah, Volley Veteran is awesome. Love it. All right, thank you so much there, Rank 1. That's our 24th sub of the day. All right, so we got uh, Prospector. So we can have turn two War Boss on the play. Um, do I want to get, do I want to have this go grab War Chief? So if we, if we have this go grab War Chief, then next turn we play War Chief, and then the next turn I have four mana, that costs two, that costs three. Hmm. It's just like playing, since they played a 1-2, a 1-2 one, one, is pretty rough when you're trying to get 1-1 one, one haste out there. Ah, it's vampires. Alright, I think I may just get another ringleader. It's either Warchief or ringleader. I guess Chain Whirler is not bad either, though. But Ringleader should just be able to grab more along with it. Yep, 
Yeah, let's just get the card. You know, we're going to need the card advantage here. We have 37 goblins in here because our deck's just 23 lands, 37 goblins. Um, you know, so tons of hits for ringleader. It's look at the top four, put all goblins revealed this way into your hand. So just reveal the top four. Um, so, you know, it's it should be over two goblins a time because, you know, like half, you know, if there's 30 cards is half the deck. We have 37 goblins. So it should reveal you know, two plus each time. So yeah, hopefully we find, uh, you know, chain whirlers and uh, war chiefs and stuff like that with these ringleaders. Ooh, I could just volley veteran and kill this Knight of the Ebon Legion. No, let's let's refill. Let's look for War Chief, start be able to play stuff for pretty cheap. See, look at that. Draw three. And there's a War Chief. Unfortunately, Chain Whirler is just red, 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 so you don't get to you don't get to ha reduce the cost of Chain Whirler. Hmm, it's interesting. So we can sack a goblin to destroy an artifact. We can destroy the icon. Maybe I should have just grabbed another War Chief to make these things cheaper. Probably should have just grabbed another War Chief. Yep. I need to grab War Chief. Alright, well, lesson learned. First game with the deck, you know, lesson learned. That's good. Lesson learned. Get more War Chiefs. Need cheaper goblins. <laughs> you blame Paul? That was just going to be tough to to win, you know. Like they had just absolutely huge vampires. Like it was going to be tough. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah. We need Hidetsuga's second right. Yeah, goblins are tough without having very good one or two mana goblins. Yeah, Crater Maker. The thing is, is Crater Maker only does damage to creatures where Chain Whirler's good. Where Ember Hauler can do damage anywhere, you know, can do damage to Planeswalkers and, and players. And especially that deal the damage to the players is important. But yeah, I understand that you don't get to reduce the cost of that, which hurts. Surprised if we meet again. So I kind of want to play ringleader before matron, so I can find, so I can kind of have a little bit more dis more information with the matron of like what I need to go find. Gobos. Explorers, Explorers still kind of slow. I don't know, like, Explorer wasn't that great at the end of the last standard format. So I'm not sure if adding in another set makes it better. I mean, the Explorer decks do get to play Oko and once upon a time and stuff like that, so maybe. All right, we we got a win with our goblin deck, so that's good. We got one win. Our opponent was stuck on lands because we kept on killing the, the Paradise Druids, so using that, taking that turn three off to Ember Hauler, the Paradise Druid, looked to be the right call. Yeah, I am I am enjoying Historic. This, this is fun. I like new formats, and... and uh, these new historic anthology cards. I'm liking those. Opponent, where are you at? We're not counting that. <laughs> Do you have a favorite deck out of the ones we played so far today? Um, my favorite to play was the Abzan Legends. That was my favorite. Yeah, this is... Uh, this is one of like a, a common knight, um, youthful knight, youthful knight. Yeah, it's a new one from the knight bundle. 
The best deck that we played was definitely the Gruel Aggro. That's the best deck. They should not have Fabled Passage in their Gruul deck. It's too slow. The only reason to have this is if you have three colors, I guess. Stop. Stop crushing my bones. Stop crushing my bones. Ah, uh, just a draw two. Draw two is below average, especially since we already had five lands in hand. So yeah, we'll use Volley Veteran to kill the Questing Beast this next turn. We draw a land, we get to, you know, Veteran plus Ringleader. That'd be nice. If not, we could go Veteran, Instigator, Firebrand. Let's go with all them. Huh. They didn't play... They didn't just play the Bonecrusher Giant? Like sitting there trying to, use, they just want to use a removal spell. So I had to play the, I want to play the war boss first. See, so yeah, now we still have four. All right, more goblins. Wow, we just hit one? Wow, that's rough. That's rough. Uh, yeah, ringleader and... Ringleader and um, I, w I was gonna say Goblin Matron because that's the new one, but Goblin Matron doesn't have the best art. And then we just activate Castle. And that's game. Yeah, we'll just do... We'll, we'll do Matron. I don't know. Def, definitely Ringleader. Yeah, Warchief's good. Yeah, there you go. War, Warchief and Ringleader. That's good. I guess whichever one of these three drops looks the best on the thumbnail. Warboss, Warchief, or Chain Whirler. Whichever one looks the best.
or even matron just whichever whichever three drop looks the best <laughs> yeah you had zero lands on two different elvish rejuvenators <laughs> that's, that's so difficult to do uh wasn't that only eight damage even with the castle i don't know i didn't count it up right right whenever i started to count it up they conceded so i just assumed it was lethal i didn't count it yet though because they can they conceded right before i started to count it so maybe lethal uh we're on the draw gross Well, I have like 18 three drops, so hopefully we draw one. <laughs> Math equals four blockers. The path home your prowess. Sure. All my cards are the same. I mean, not really. It's Goblin the Ringleader is the best one by far. Interesting technique. No, the crank there's there's just better three drops than Cranko. Goblin Matron with Ringleader looks like the Matron is grounding the Ringleader. You in trouble. They didn't cast Thought Erasure. That's fine. So I have five mana. So right now it's like War Chief Matron. I know eighty-eight ways to get I have just the trick for this. <laughs> yeah, they're like looking at all these like which one do I take? Alright, War Chief it is. Oh, thank you so much there, European man. You signed up for the Patreon? Yeah, good deal for just three bucks. Yep, that's right. Yeah, the Patreon is just three dollars a month. And yeah, writing stuff over there. Wrote about uh, these historic anthology cards yesterday. Wrote about standard after the bannings. The day before. Or on Monday. But yeah, for yeah, if we really like the for everybody that likes the you know, the videos over on YouTube and everything. It's a wonderful place to support me over on Patreon. It's just three bucks a month. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, I had lethal here. I was just kind of double counting it while I was saying that. But yeah, I had lethal either activating castle or playing the trash master. But I guess they had. No, I guess I guess we would have put them down to one because they had the removal spell. So we would have put them down to one.
Cool, yeah, and I'll I'll keep on I'll keep on riding over there. And plus also like decks that I play a lot, you know, like like my own decks that I designed that, that y'all like that you want cyborg guides for, let me know over there on Patreon and I'll also make cyborg guides over there. I probably need to make one for the Selesnia Knights. Alright, we got a one, a two, a three, and a four. Bad Soul Warden. Bad. Soul Warden triggers whenever any creature gains uh, ETBs. So, like, my creatures ETB, they gain life. And so on. It triggers off everything. Thank you, Rex. You signed up as well. Thank you. Yeah, I saw that uh, last night. Yep. Thank you. Oh, no. That card's scary. Mm. If I had one more mana, I could Ember Hauler this and then Chain Whirler. But I don't, so let's get some trash out here. No! Oh, that gains five life. That triggers the Resplendent Angel. Gains another five life. I need to kill that Resplendent Angel. I mean, I just need one more mana, because one more mana, I'd be able to Chain Whirler plus Sack Ember Hauler. We didn't get that one more mana, though. Yeah, it's a it's a great great opener for the for the life gain deck there. I mean, my you know I had a good one two three, but yeah, they also had just Soul Warden into Bishop of Wings into Resplendent Angel into Angel of Vitality. Just doesn't. Oh, that's it's double angels. That's gain fifteen life. Great hand, GG. Yeah, probably run that Sarah Sentent. Sarah Sentent's an angel, right? Yeah, but that looked really impressive. That looked really good. No, Sarah Sentent's a human monk. Okay. Not an angel. Yeah, that looked really good. I don't think it's worth to just sacrifice two fanatical firebrands to kill this Knight of the Ebon Legion. I'll just get Instigator out here. Yeah, I think they did a great job with the historic anthology here.
So because of the the Knight of Malice, uh, having first strike, you know, it doesn't make a lot of sense to. If they didn't play the Knight of Malice, I'd be attacking with, the, you know, all three of them. Dang. Okay. Refill. Come on, ringleader. Give me a four. Four cards. Ah, so close. So close. Bordless Castle is stunning. It does look really nice. Yeah, it's a good one. Dang. Their knights are so big. So if it wasn't for this veteran, I guess I could still kill the veteran, I guess. So I can go like Chain Whirler and then Firebrand and have both Firebrands shoot the veteran. Kind of feel like we need to do that before... These things get even more crazy. Yeah, getting Benelish Marshall in History of Benalia, and then, yeah, these good First Strike Knights, too. Knight of Malice, Knight of Grace. There's a lot of good stuff with Knights. You get eight Trilands. Whoa, that's not the best attack. Darn it. Darn, they figured out not to attack with Benelish Marshall. I mean, they should be attacking with everything else. Just not Benelish Marshall. I mean, I need Volley Veteran. So just grab it. I'd like to draw a land where we can play Trash Master and Veteran. 
Or even better, draw a War Chief. Because if we draw War Chief. Oh no, we don't have six mana. We need six mana to go War Chief, Trash Master, and Veteran. Maybe that's all they have. So they go block, block, they take three, six, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ugh, two away from lethal. Two away from lethal there. I know, so close. We have to get this thing that gives their creatures double strike out of here, though. You know, like, we have to be able to try to trade. Yeah, so close. I had 14 damage. Yeah, there you go. It's, yeah, it's on the Stream Decker page there. It's also on the YouTube channel for Gruel Aggro. You can also see, and the YouTube video has the link to it as well. We have to block with everything, of course. Stormfist Crusader having menace. A little rough. I guess I should have done this before it was blocked, but oh well. So 
So I need another ringleader. We've only drawn one ringleader so far. We need to draw a ringleader. Or a matron to go find a ringleader. Yeah, I'm enjoying Historic a lot, Subisac, yeah. Yeah, enjoying it a lot so far. Um, so just trying to trade Warboss for Knight of Malice here. Hoping it works out. Nope. It did not work out. However, that's a great draw. Now suddenly we're in it. Suddenly we're in it. Oh, I was like, how does it get plus one? But then, Knight of Malice, because, you know, you play a white permanent, it gets plus one. Hmm. Oh, yeah, every deck does have a winning record today, so I got to keep on going. Can't they just draw some lands? Don't they just want to draw any lands? I still don't have good attacks because all their creatures have double strike. <clears throat> so I don't have good attacks here. They just never drew lands. They just always had spells. Such good ones, too. All right, well, we we fought pretty hard. We fought val valiantly. We did our best. All right, three and three. We got to get this one. Hopefully, we can be on the play. Get to be on the play. Um, yeah, Subisac donated for me to, to build. Yeah, so I have to build it. Yeah, I'm going to build a mono black control. Why are we playing Ember Cleave? It's not a. It's not a goblin.
sorry I'm late. This Rude. Might be a bad idea. Mm. Where are the lands? <laughs> no, we didn't play any Teferis today. We've played against a lot of Teferis. Right on schedule. I'll protect you. But we did not play any Teferis. Ooh, they missed land drops. Let's go. Attack. Except for Matron. Matron scolds these Teferis. Let's go. Haste Gobos. Oh, that's not Kaya's Wrath Mana. That's not Kaya's Wrath. That's game. Ah, never mind, not game anymore. They need to take a four drop. Take one take that ringleader. Dude, look at this ringleader. Darn. I have seven now. Because, yeah, this could attack for four, that could attack for four. And we did it. Four and three. A winning record. GG's, goblins. So, all right, goblins still pretty good in historic. I, you know, like, so the elves and the goblins both went four and three. The elves felt like, felt like a lot better deck. Um, but this could do some, some crazy stuff though. Also get a lot of haste and everything like that. But the elves definitely felt a lot stronger. Um, this felt like we were, you know, about, about expected record four and three. The elves felt, felt pretty unlucky to get four and three. That felt like expected record like this. This felt like a 3-4-4-3 four, four, three deck, where Elves was like a 5-2-6-1 you know, deck, is what it felt like. Um, <laughs> that's the title for YouTube, Matron Scolding to Fairies. <laughs> um, but yeah, Goblin Matron was good. Like, being able to go find, like, you know, we like we went and go grabbed an extra ringleader. We went and found a volley, a volley veteran that we needed. Remember when we went Matron, go grab Chain Whirler to stay alive, and that was awesome. So yeah, Matron was was good. It's just the problem is like these three and four drops, like these are awesome. So like when you have the mana to play your your goblins and you can just play out all your goblins, you're gonna do good. And so that's that's like really the the thing about our deck. Like these are some really strong goblins. The problem is these are not very strong goblins. <laughs> and uh you know, I don't love how our, our curve looks there, but I would have to say that I liked Skirk Prospector. I liked being able to play these things on turn two. Uh, that definitely helped. Um, I think this the Skirk Prospectors are good for the one drops. I think that's better than just like your generic one mana, one one haste kind of thing or your goblin banneret types. Um But yeah, you know, I wish we I wish we had more lords lord effects. And I wish we had more Valdi veterans. I wish we could play more of these, but we just can't play more fours. But I wish we could. Alright. GG goblins. Yeah, haste is good. Yep, haste is good. And Warchief, given all your goblins haste. This this card was just in incredible. Give all your goblins haste. Yeah, haste is good. All right, so if you're watching on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there. I uh, hope you subscribe to the channel too. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think about goblins. If you're playing a different kind of goblin build, um, you know, goblin major and all that kind of stuff. Uh, what about Cranko? Cranko is just, just you know, Cranko doesn't have haste. And it's just worse than all these other three drops. If Krenko was a two drop, I'd love to play it, you know, kind of thing. Um, but it's just worse than all these other three drops, unfortunately. Uh, the only the only spot that you can maybe play it is instead of War Boss, but I think I like War Boss more. That's like the only spot where you could maybe play it. Um, but yeah, there we go. Uh, that's that's it here for though for Mono Red Goblins. So thank you so much for watching. 
and I'll see you for the next video.